All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, we're going to talk about the power rankings that were released this week. And I'll give you my thoughts on that, um, what I agree with, what I disagree with. And again, I always try to go as fast as I can, but this segment always flies by. So I'm always like just speeding up the, you know, speeding up at the end because, you know, obviously we don't have a lot of time between each segment because each segment goes so fast. Um, but um, anyway, so we go to 32 Panthers. I mean, you put up 30 points against the Packers defense and then, um, you know, you get shut out against C.J. Beathard and the Jags. So I, it's just... And then you got the owner throwing, uh, you know, drinks on the on the fans. Um, we'll have to talk about that uh, during the week. Uh, but, yeah, that was not a good look for uh, Dave Tepper. Um, but, yeah, Panthers at 32, Commanders at 31. I mean, it's just... Listen, I, I thought they had something with Sam Howell, but it just... Really doesn't look like that right now. Um, he has not been good for a while, and uh, yeah, the Commanders. I mean, I don't know what their plan is for the off season, but there's but there's going to be a lot of changes. Right? We just know that. Um, Thirty, you got the Patriots. I mean, listen, Bailey Zappi threw three picks, but they only lost by six to the to the Bills. Um, you know, they had their chances, but um, anyways, uh, yeah, they're at thirty. Uh, 29 is the Cardinals, only going up one spot after beating the Eagles in Philly. Um, and we'll talk about them in the next segment. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, uh, good for them for getting that win. Um, you know, they really uh, screwed up the Eagles uh, with their, you know, playoff positioning. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that was, a, that was a good performance by Kyler Murray, James Conner, too. I, I mean, yeah, I, I feel like they could have went up a little bit higher. Um Giants are at 28, right in the same spot um, as last week. Back-to-back -back competitive losses. Um, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, that that's just the Giants. Like I said, they're the team of almosts and ifs. So they're at 28. So um, then we move on to 27. Uh, the Chargers, I mean, you know, listen, you're competitive against the Bills. Then against, uh, you know, Jared Stidham and the Broncos, they just couldn't generate any kind of offense. Um, you know, it, it's been a rough one for the Chargers, and hopefully uh, they can rebound next year. Um, anyways, uh, we go to 26, the Titans, uh, you know, blowout loss to the Texans with C.J. Stroud being back. Will Levis got hurt in this game. Um so they brought in Tannehill, and he just couldn't get anything going. Um, so we'll see if they play spoiler uh, versus Jacksonville on Sunday um, at home. Um, then the Jets at 25. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't even know what – I don't know what happened to their defense. I mean, look, their defense, I, I think, gave up um, on Thursday against the Browns. I was impressed that they were able to, um, you know – go and uh go down the field on the first drive um you know after the browns went down the field on their first drive and scored a touchdown but then you know after that you know trevor simeon throws the pick six um you know it, it's another team that it's been a rough year but yeah they're at 25 falcons at 24 blowout loss to the bears um you know but they still got a chance to win the division you know if they can win and the bucks lose so uh, Raiders at 23, uh, you know, they uh, had that big win against Kansas City on Christmas, but they couldn't repeat that against the Colts. Um, of course, they had the backdoor cover against me, uh, which stunk, but, you know, those kinds of losses happen to me when it comes to uh, picking in the spread. So then you got the Broncos at 22. They pretty much stayed in the same spot, 8-8. Eight and eight. You know, they picked up the win against the Chargers. Uh, Jared Stidham, you know, his highlight play was, I mean, it was really little Jordan Humphrey's highlight play. Uh, Stidham threw a pass to him, and he just, you know, took it to the house. Um, Chargers just couldn't tackle on that play. Um, but, yeah, the Broncos, uh, you know, 8-8, eight and eight, and we'll see if they can finish this year with a winning record. Vikings dropped down to three spots to 21. Um, curious decision by putting in Jaron Hall at quarterback to start the game as opposed to just going with either Nick Mullins or Josh Dobbs. 
Because um, if they would have started with one of those guys, that, that would have been a different game. But we'll talk about the Packers when we get to them. But, uh, yeah, that was a cu curious decision in there. You know, Kirk Cousins doesn't get hurt. This team is probably a playoff team. So it just it's unfortunate with, with what happened with the Vikings. The Bears have been playing great as of late. Um, Justin Fields has been good. Uh, the defense, though, has been the bigger story. Um, you know, and they they got a chance to knock the Packers out of the playoffs if they could uh, if they could beat them on Sunday in Lambeau. Um, and we'll see if they stick with Justin Fields. That'll be something to, uh, you know keep an eye on. Seahawks dropped down a few spots, uh, losing to the Steelers. They're at 19. The Bengals dropped down four spots, dropping to 18 after the loss to the Chiefs. I mean, they were up by 10, and then they didn't score at all in the second half. Um, that was another cover that that hurt my chances. Um, but, you know, so, yeah, they're at 18. Uh, the, the Saints are at 17. They went up six spots. Uh, that was a big win against the Bucs. Um, you know, where was that all year? Really, I mean, they, they are one of the most inconsistent teams this year. And, you know, listen, they still got a chance. If they beat the Falcons and the, and the Buccaneers lose, then they're in. Uh, and they're hosting a playoff game. But, you know, if they could have played like this earlier in the season, we wouldn't be having this conversation. They would have had the division wrapped up already. Um, 16 is the Packers. I feel like they should be higher. I feel like they should be over the Steelers. Even though, well, the Steelers and the Bucks did beat them. Um, but Jordan Love has been playing really well um, as of late. And um, Packers might have their uh, their future franchise QB right here. Um, Steelers are at 15. They've been playing better offensively. Um, they went up a couple of spots. The Bucks went down four. Uh, they're at 14. That was a bad loss to the Saints. But they still, listen, it's right in front of them. They just got to win and they're in. So, um, then the Colts are at 13. Um, they went up a few, a couple of spots. Um, yeah, actually all the, uh, the AFC South team. So you got the Colts at 13, the Jags at 12, and then the Texans at 11. Um, I don't, um, I don't disagree with that. I, I think right now, listen, I, I think the Texans might, uh, well, I think the Texans will get into the playoffs. I think with Trevor Lawrence being back, the Jags win on sunday but if they don't that would be that's going to be really bad if they don't um i, th I think the colts unfortunately might be the odd team out but th they're going to be a good team next year um so we'll see and then in the top 10 so we got the rams at 10 uh yeah i think they're playing like a top 10 team right now um even though you know the giants kind of gave them some problems on sunday um but you know kyron williams Ever since he's come back, the Rams have been a much have been a different team. I mean, they've been scoring a lot more points. The receivers have been great. Stafford's been playing well, except on Sunday through a couple of picks. Um, the defense, you know, is not the same defense it was when they won the Super Bowl. So I, I in the offseason, they're going to have to, you know, fix the defense a little bit, rebuild that up. Because if they could do that, you know, and Stafford can come back and play well with Cooper Cup, with Puka Nakua, Kyron Williams again running the football – this is going to be a good team, you know, going forward. I mean, Stafford's still got some good years left if they could protect him, um, you know. So then you got the Eagles at nine. They dropped down five spots. I mean, I can't disagree with that. I mean, you just lost to the Cardinals. So I, I can't disagree with that. They are, their defense, that's a defense that has not been playing good. Um, so then you got the Chiefs at eight, got back on track against the Bengals. Um you know, Isaiah Pacheco has been running the football well. Um, you know, they weren't lollygagging. They didn't do any of these, you know, trick plays, you know, and they just had Harrison Butker kick field goals, you know, pretty much the whole game after the first uh, touchdown. And the first and only touchdown they had of the game. Um, but, you know, still we have our concerns with this team. Um, then seven is the Browns. This team is going to be very scary in the playoffs. If Joe Flacco can limit the turnovers... This is, a, this is a good team. This team is going to give teams problems in the postseason. Um, then at six, you got the Bills. It's crazy how they could either get the two seed or miss the playoffs entirely. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, and then the top five, you got the Lions at five. You know, they, they should have beat Dallas. Well, let's be honest. I still think Dallas is better than them, but they should have beaten Dallas. 
Then you got the the Dolphins at four. Yeah, I mean you got to put them there. I and I feel like after that blowout loss, maybe you, you flip flop the lines in the Dolphins, but I don't know. Then you got Dallas at three, 49ers two, Ravens one. I don't have any complaints there. I think the top three is is right. Dallas at three. 49ers at two, Ravens at one. I, I I think the Cowboys are... Even though the Dolphins did beat the Cowboys, um, I don't know. I, I still think the Cowboys are better. Um, they're better than the Lions. Um, but, you know, that's a, but that's the top five, though. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the power rankings. We did have some comments here, uh, so we'll go through that. Uh, the Falcons will crumble under... will crumble under their power... I don't know if that's what was trying to be said. Uh, yeah, I mean, they uh, they haven't been great recently. Um, I see you can't get distracted with the chat during the podcast, of course. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I was just going through the power rankings. Um, I don't know about the NFL, but you seem like a very good informer. Nice job. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I try to do what I can. I mean, listen, there's other people that are more knowledgeable than me. I know what I know. So, you know, that's basically the best way to put it. Um, but it's also to, uh, you know, obviously interact with the viewers, which is what the one thing that I want to do more of, you know, as we get more comments, you know, in the chat. Um, you know, because I, I don't want it to just be me, you know, talking for an hour with, you know, nobody saying anything in the chat. You know, I want to be able to respond to comments, you know, listen to your guys' opinions on things, you know, because that's really what this is all about, um, and we're working towards that. And obviously, again, like I've been talking about, there's going to be more, you know, shows in the coming weeks, um, so you'll be more familiar with, uh, you know, with some new faces, and uh, it's, it's going to be a fun time. They'll be on my show, I'll be on other shows um, as well. It's it's going to be an exciting uh, exciting weeks are coming up, so, um, but yeah, so, but that's pretty much it when talking about uh, the power rankings. Again, let me know what you guys think about the power rankings for this week. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? The top five um, was the Lions, the Dolphins, Cowboys, 49ers, Ravens, and yeah, I can't disagree with that. Can't really dis disagree with that. Um, so with that, we're, well, before we go into our, uh, next break, um, I just want to remind you guys, uh, once again, uh, to tip or donate and get your comments recognized, make sure to go to the following link that is streamelements.com slash GSMC sports network dot slash tip. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is streamelements.com slash GSMC sports network dot slash tip. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker on the bottom of the show segment down below so when we get back from our second break of the show we're going to talk about kyler murray um because jonathan gannon their head coach came out and said that uh basically that they're going to stick with kyler uh, moving forward um so i'll talk about that i'll give you my opinion on it and that is what we'll do when we come back from our second break of the show so with that being said stick around and we'll be right back here on the gsmc football podcast 